In today's video, I wanna show you how easy it is to create mail mergers with the new Outlook app. If you've created mail mergers in the traditional desktop app, you know it can be a little bit cumbersome having to use Excel files and create different files and things like that. And the new Outlook, whether it's the free or the paid version, makes this so much easier. You can see here, I am on the Outlook.com app. This is the free version, just the general personal account. And there's a couple of steps to get started. What you wanna do is over on the top left-hand corner where it says new mail, we're gonna drop this guy down. We're gonna open up a new mail and then open this up full screen so it's easy for you to see. And then what you'll see in the top left-hand corner where it says send, there's a little drop down where you can go send, where you can select on send, schedule send, which allows you to schedule a message for later, or there's a button simply for start mail merge. This is a really easy option to get into starting mail merge, but I'll show you another way to do this as well. I'm gonna close this, open up a brand new email again and open this up. And then under the options tab, you also have the button here to start mail merge. So the two ways to find it are the drop down and choosing from here, or in options, press the button start mail merge. When you open up mail merge, you do get the uh, notification saying every recipient will receive their own copy of this email without other recipients listed. So basically you can send out a widespread email, but it looks like an individualized email to them. And they're not gonna see the other people that receive that email as well. Over here, it says recipient. And this is where you put all the different email addresses that you wanna contact. Awesome, so I've popped in three different accounts myself, just so I wanna show you guys what it looks like when you received an email and two other people. And I've got the body of my email here as well, as well as the subject. Next, you simply wanna select on send mail merge. You get a little warning saying send mail merge. Do you want to send three emails with mail merge? So these are three individual emails. If you're happy with that, simply select on send and then off it goes. Give it a couple of seconds and then you can jump over to your sent mail. Now that we're in our sent items, we can actually see everyone that we just emailed. So here we have in our sent options, this is a test mail merge. Then it shows all the different recipients that you sent to that email. So you can see here, I have three other recipients that I sent the email to. Now I also sent this email to myself. So we're here in the inbox and I'm gonna double click on this. And this is what the recipient sees. They just see who sent it and who it was addressed to, which is just yourself. You don't see any of the other people that you shared the email to. So they received just a direct email from you. And it is that easy to use the new mail merge feature in new Outlook. Of course, if you like this video, let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you're in Supercharged Raise Your Computer, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.